You know, I forgot to save. And now it's 17! Still, chapter is not the wise thing to do, especially in a game like this. Ladies and gentlemen, it's I, Antonio Toro, so you back to Let's Play. Because that was so blind, a little fully blind right now, that's just how it works. I tried to draw my results with Ayaka san. Oh, so it's cool. I thought... You thought? Then you can make it up from having me doing the gathering. Oh, well... <laughs> it's fine, you had me free the crew eventually after all. I nodded. That was my intention. That's why today I wanted to take Ritsuko to out somewhere where we, where we could be alone. Oh, let's go. Did you get too wild with her? She ran off. I wouldn't say I got too wild. No, no. I swear the situation. Hmm. Nice. You third wheel, huh? I would. I wouldn't call it third wheel. I think now I should just want to use Ritsuko Chan too. You just ever Masaikun. I don't know how about that. Anyway, it meant I didn't get to look up with the Zara of Yusuku Chan, so. <clears throat> Can we get after her? Yes, still on vacation, so I thought I'd invite her out somewhere, but I was wondering what kind of place she'd like. <clears throat> Are you using park or something? <laughs> I think it's not really crowds that much, actually. I see, then it might not be possible to go out. <clears throat> I don't know that. In fact, there's a summer festival at the next town over tomorrow. Why is better that? Hmm, summer festival, huh? Now, son told me the festival was at this Sukishi Shrine in nearby town. It took about 30 minutes to get there by train, which meant it was an hour shift from his nest. Wasn't that far, so we just so much on my degree. I see. Well, I've got nothing to lose. Might as well invite her. I mean, I that. I really love to visit Ritsuko. I thought the world was really tempered by a gentle smile. Now I especially was completely serious. <laughs> I'm still a big sister, so I just wanted to know. I know I'm being more protective, but still. I shook my head. I'm not sure. I'm sorry I chatted to her. <laughs> it's not a promising answer. Sorry. <laughs> well, it's okay. On the other hand, the purpose of a date is to help you figure out your feelings, right? Yes. And Ritsuko's feelings, too. <clears throat> oh, I'm not sure what Ritsuko thinks of you. I know she doesn't hate you, at least, but... Well, that's good to hear. <laughs> Why did you remember the star the star gathering? Just because of Konomi? Hmm. Because the town had access to suddenly, you couldn't be sure. <laughs> I shall so just be in the wheel. Doesn't seem as like her. Well can we do crazy things? Love makes you, makes you know someone completely different. Love is an emotion that can cloud the mind, but solid, can cloud the mind, but purify the heart. Dating and love is not a game for the mind, for the for the for those that play with their mind. You have to, with the comes to love or dating or any or a relationship for that aim, for that matter. You have to play with your heart. That's how it works. Did I put it across? Okay. That's true. Some of you can only challenge words that seem to make her extremely uncomfortable. But what's really not going through her mind? You should go so calm and collected. 
That guy sounds clear where frequency sound the way a big sister should be. Where to be the end, all I can do is ask her. Anyway, I'll write her on, on the date. Just face the question head on. Hmm, go for it. Go for it. Thanks. It's alright, son. This was really helpful. It's all thing. You just go to town in this case. I thought that sending her an email might be better than asking her face to face. Worked out the phone's on familiar interface. Fortunately, he really just wasn't on the stu- uh, was on the student contact she had received at initiation. He you know, all the phones that the school gave out were chosen automatically based on student number and you couldn't- and couldn't be changed. Yeah, that might cause problems if you could change it. Okay. Read the message over a few more times. It was- it was inoffensive and to the point. Hope this is okay any anyway. Check the message destination one more time and press the send button. Ugh, I'm so nervous. To be honest, this was my first time asking a girl on a date. I never thought it would be this nerve wracking. As I was sending out the email, I found myself checking my cell phone every 30 seconds. That was just up until the 3 minute mark. Then it turned to 5, I suddenly got nervous. It was a bad idea? But still, maybe she's in the shower or the bathroom. My thoughts argued with each other. Then it was past and the bad idea chain I thought was, star was starting to win out. Past five and ten more minutes locked in like that. You just assume well, we'd be scheduling a rematch right now. But what kept me hanging on was the food that I didn't want to give up. After all, if I <laughs> gave up just because I didn't receive a response, it was, really was hopeless. But that's just to be sure because of the interface or something. The whole time staring at my cell phone, turning those thoughts over my head. Sixty minutes past the total. I would stand up and divide directly when. Whoa! If I got my long way to reply, but now I was so anxious. What if she said no? That's true, why does that thing make me feel nervous? And here I had a plan of being optimistic. That's how it was for all guys that's you know, for a first date. Oh, Messiah. It's always like that. Doesn't matter your gender or how many times you ask, usually. It does not get easier with practice or number of times. It's always hard. Cause it, because you ask, you think of asking, but you lose your nerve. And then you don't ask them, and then they hit with someone else. And it's just, it's massively chaotic. <clears throat> Those who have the, who had the gall to ask out their crush in high school, well, Graduations. You know something most people most people never do. In my case, this is the first time I asked a girl out on a date at all. But I couldn't just keep gripping the phone forever. Yeah, that's how I all encourage ready to email. Very well. I'll go. Whoa. I felt a heart leap. I rubbed my eyes and set the screen again repeatedly. By the high time I read it, there could be no misinterpretation. So as possible is unquestionable, sure. Brother Bears, who can be the shrine? I'll take the first bus out. Roger. There. I added, I'm looking forward to it as well, and sent the email off. Elated. Man, I'm so happy. Tell us the fun way I leave and threw myself down on the bed. And I fell asleep before. I felt like my chest was tightening and the back of my knees were itching. It was really strange showing, but it wasn't bad at all. On the contrary. Maybe this should use love. It was looking that way. I was going out to to a festival with the girl. I sure wouldn't feel this happy if I didn't feel like she was special. But knowing what I was going to do with Rizuku Chan thrilled me from the bottom of my heart. So it must be. <laughs> so, uh, this is I this is the volleyball right here. This is volleyball right here. I assume. I feel like I can see, 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 see the room, so I might as well show that off. Um, she has stuffed animals here. Here. It's a glass here. I don't, don't know what that's about. Just over here. Uh, mirror cosmetics right here. That's a pretty big TV. We don't have one of those in our room. I got to do pretty basic, though. 
I guess she and she and I guess she's been here a few years and she is the headmistress's daughter, which I think kind of gives her extra stuff that we don't have because that, if we, otherwise it would, just, it would just be unfair. But her love, perhaps. We can still close eyes for our own thoughts. <laughs> what am I talking about? She had an incredible heat in her cheeks. She looked into the mirror and saw that her face was bright red. She sat down on the cell phone for no particular reason. Earlier, when she was typing, she found herself in an unbelievable mental state. I'm saying I'm accepting his invitation. Is this really okay? You see, we asking me on a date? A date with a boy? Is this really okay? Fair seed in inside like a pot about to boil over, and she had to stop herself several times. I thought it took 60 minutes to respond. But if she took too long, she never decided I might view it as a snub. Fearing that in the end, she hit the stand button with, with something like desperation. Her fight came immediately, even though she was the one being invited, she felt relieved. <laughs> he said, I'm looking forward to it. I am too. She took her cell phone on the bed and responded. Who's there? I'm Miss Konomi. Ah, come in. I'm really sorry about before. Ah, uh, <coughs> uh, something, of course. She turned to be great from Konomi, but it seemed that was at an, that was at an end. Uh, I was like, oh, it was actually she who owed Konomi an apology. She used Konomi's words as an excuse to take her leave. There was nothing appropriate about what Konomi had said. Kanomi's words were not the cause of her actions. The real cause was Bishuko's own, own feelings. Please don't worry about it anymore. I'm not angry. Did I tell you the truth that Bishuko just gave a diplomatic answer? You're so kind. You know, so about tomorrow. About tomorrow. Hey, this is the next time ever. Would you like to go with me? Uh. I know you like crowds only now, but, but it's a summer festival. So I was sure you invited her as a means of making amends. So I started staring to the bed where she had hidden her cell phone. She had just been a moment later. I'm sorry, I have plans already. What? The plans? Yes. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna give a minute for Kobe to think about before I announce the text. You can think too. We know, but, uh, think? Now start me, now start making a list of everyone who's more important than she is. Got it? Okay. Now burn it. Burn that list. It's not important anymore. With whom? Uh, who else is take priority for me? <laughs> this is not about priorities. This is important. This is relevant. That's why I started to burn it. This is not a priority. Very forced this to cause Vizco to draw back a step. Chris hasn't turned hard. <coughs> uh, it could be Masaya Sama? No! The brothers came out louder than she expected. That was a little shocked too. I don't know, it's not Sudan Kayako. What? Who's that? Is your? Well, I suppose I'd say I told you I had a pen pal. I had a pen pal? He was kind of, he was, he was... He 
he was kind of an a-hole. <laughs> Yoko san was going to be in the air for other reasons. We saw you out while she was in town. Go to San Vessel with her? But I don't know, it's not that. We're going to have dinner together. I would never go to San Vessel with someone I barely knew. That's true. I understand. Sorry. I'm sorry, Konomi. It's okay. Is Oni Sami telling me the truth? This is weird. I didn't know Oni Sami's words before. But. Let's see, this is the only song I was talking about? I said it before as well. Sasa is a breath of fresh air, Vincent S. And there is the thick trophy that Risa Sama mentioned. So I believe that even we have been altered by his presence. This is good. Maybe, maybe we are changing. Look at the room. It is definitely a nice room. My room was not. My room is never was not this big. I shared a room with three other guys. There are four of us in that room, and it was not nearly as big as this room is. It was small. There were four beds and a table. That was it. That was it. It was cramped. It was an hour before, before her planned departure. Which one? Which one? Chris is casual or elegant? I would never, I would never understand that. She afraid of two hours of what outfit to wear. First, she had spread the contents of her closet on the bed and held them in front of her one after the other. All I wanted to split them up into no and navy piles until she only had two outfits remaining. First, I had this right to wear regularly. I really like this one, but it is a bit safe. Safe and comfortable, but also meant boring. Or this one. Other candles was dressed that she hardly ever wore. Dress design, but the helm, helm was a bit high. You could even call it a mini. I hadn't seen that shirt when she was trying it on in the store. But when she bought it at home and tried it on again, she started to worry about the, hem the hemline. She sure couldn't walk around town like that, of course. When she's on school grounds with all girls down, there was no there was less need to worry. There's still something to say us about it. That's why I, that's why I said how I even warn it. Well it's over going out today, so I feel like I really should dress up. And we were quite we were quite a shock. If you can't go outside like this, it's just, just... It wasn't just dealing with eyes of strangers, she could bear that if she had to. But I don't want to think I was shameless because I wore this. 
What did you want him to see and not to see? That is reason school has something to answer for sure. So even though she had quickly narrowed down to two, the process is taking a long time. We're gonna have to choose quickly. Just at the time with shock, she thought she had 90 minutes, but she only had 52. <laughs> For this bus, so you had to be careful at the time. What should I do? Plus, maybe you don't know if you can compare the two in the mirror. Both so good, she couldn't decide. That's up, randomly. Second hands on even number one, I look at the clock. I'll go with the mage S. If it's odd, I'll go with the normal clothes. Here you go. Actually, the usual clothes. No clothes are best. I still have 45 minutes. How does the wear in her outfit? She still felt like she had to do something special. Her eyes fell on the nightstand. Earlier, I had given her some samples. She said, eat, which largely turned out to be makeup. One of just basic skincare products, it was all real makeup. She should have worn it before, but she understood the basic process. One of the fashion magazines she read sometimes had fusions on the subject. I'm not worried about the time. If you want something to come out, look at my panda, you can always just wash it off. Okay. It was the next day, the day of the festival. I knew the music time would be heading out early, so I decided to take the bus that would get there just in time. Okay, well, better head out. Today I spent a lot of time styling my hair, something I didn't usually do. I'll be what I considered my best outfit. I would have liked to buy something new, but I didn't have the time. I wonder if what I asked on said is true. She was the one who gave me the idea of the summer festival, so at lunch time I went back and thanked her. Hey, well, sounds like she might really like you. Huh? Why? Oh, I thought it was pretty likely she'd agree. Could you really imagine someone like her going on a date with a boy? Well... Yes, she accepted. So, very she must really like you. Maybe she actually wanted to go to the festival. Since she was being so optimistic, I decided to put down his advocate. No, no. No, no. This girl doesn't personally like festivals. Oh, I see. She had mentioned that Ritsuko tried to like crowds just like before. I think this might be the first time she's gone to that festival festival site. It's actually a very good escort. Um, right. Oh, right, I don't know if I should be happy or terrified. <laughs> yeah, I think you're sister in law. That's not gazes off in the distance. I think we were a little premature. We'll see. Well, of course, the new guy me can only pray for my wife's happiness. No strange way of putting it, but I'm really counting on you. Right. Two that I can't really imagine Riku Sahan accepting an invitation from a boy. When I thought about, about that way, I couldn't help but get my hopes up. But I couldn't know for sure until I saw her in person. Can't, but can I have it, huh? Were you talking about me being a little partner for Rizuko-chan? I guess that Ayaka-san really cared about her sister. Didn't want to betray her. It was evening, but the sun was still high in the sky. Went to the bus station from the school gate, and for once, there was a person there. There's a student, I assume. It's a peak girl. She wore a hat low over her eyes, though, so I couldn't make out her face. One for for me, it would probably recognize instantly, but I couldn't, naturally. The bus is here. And as a girl, immediately faded from my mind. Yeah, buddy. Mas, mas, 
しくなってきた。I had a feeling. This is getting more and more suspicious. Claire would presume to mind her risico, so she sat in Pisano Psy instead. Pisano leaving his room, she ran off to the bus station to get there before him. So the festival is supposed to make it just in time. Toto slumped down, pulled her hat down even lower, kept her eyes fixed on Masai, who was sitting ahead of her. She didn't want to believe it. Masai made it to the shrine in the neighborhood in town, and Risuko was there too. She'd probably be sad that she had been lied to, but. Oh, Risa, did you hear from Masai Sama? I don't like it. Did you only saw a, a boy together? It's not her at all. We got to the map right before getting off, but it seemed there was no need. There was a flood of people heading in that direction when I the station. There was no way I could get, I could get lost. That was supposed to be pretty popular. Hoping it would be live if one, but Suku tried to like crowds. Whoa. It was definitely a big deal. There were stalls everywhere. Now I think about it, it's been very since I last went to a festival. As this one has, uh, goldfish scooping, you can go do that, and then, well, let's buy a mask, and then I can, we can have some food, and then we can get to the last day of summer, and then go back two weeks and do it all over again. Eight times. Or like 15,000 times. Did you get that reference? <laughs> You've got some good taste. That's all I got, I'm sorry. I can't, if I go into more detail, it'd be spoiler, it'd be spoiler for those of who don't know what I'm talking about just yet. Now I think about it, it's been a first since I last went to a, to a festival. That's this anyway. May I have been constantly avoiding them. Let's see now. We took a shot. Who's outside here, I guess? Okay, you close watch of Saya. Could you see the scan the ground for Risuko? Which wasn't there. So I was looking for someone too, but maybe it wasn't Risuko. Let's make a full circle of the grounds. Saya tilted his head. And so I saw I changed direction while we tried to see me deserted spot. He was tell Peach that he wouldn't see her. So I was heading towards a large tree. Do you remember standing below it? What is that? She hadn't noticed who the men were clustered around, but it was Ritsuko. So I walked up to her without hesitation, the man quickly backed off. For a distance, she thought Ritsuko was looking at him with gratitude. Then she realized she couldn't come out. She had tell you to jump on the second they met up. She really couldn't believe it. This is you call Messiah. <sighs> Three men muttered to themselves, and Messiah stood firm, and they eventually dispersed. You okay? Yes, oh, thank you. I don't know, have you been waiting on the strange grounds this whole time? I used to be one of the stalls, but I just a beauty by Chris standing by all by herself. It was only natural that the guys would make a pass at her. <laughs> That's very frightening. We just go down and put a hand on her chest about her side. I saw you the school you see, at first I didn't know what was happening. I turned them down, but they were so persistent. She did not go to the crowds, right? Maybe we should have gone to a museum or something instead. <laughs> no, that's alright. I like going to festivals right now and then. I'm glad to hear you say that. I haven't been to festival in a while either. Oh, really? Yeah, so it's a little exciting for me, of course. Still, I feel a little bashful and turn my eyes away. A big part of that is being here with you. 
turn my eyes back to her side, it would probably be best to make my feelings clear. Told him this could be a date. A date? Yeah, that just doesn't change things much anyway. <laughs> but you want to take a walk around? Ah, uh, yes. Huh? I was about to head out and then turn right back to Risa Kushan. Something different about you today. What's something different? Yeah, like with your face. See her, she will rise up honestly. Teeth turned red. It was super cute. Ah, makeup? No, you had it wrong. Oh, I see. Maybe it's check the maybe check the light. Um, isn't that, huh? Blue sounds spoken in a plain, plaintive tone that was entirely unlike her. Well, I was just having to use makeup, and well, I don't know where she is exactly, but ah. The wind threw it away, and this was the first time we went out in so long. Ah, oh, I see. Naturally, makeup was forbidden at Vincennes. Blue sounds the beautiful who didn't need makeup, but she didn't look bad with it on it either. I really should have done it. Huh? Why? I'm super sure I was going to mess it up. I've never done it before. Oh, I don't know about that. Doesn't look bad. Doesn't look bad to me. Tell us, I was thinking about you today, too. Oh, yeah? Duck my head a little bit. Tell me hair for once. I guess because of this. See the hairstyles. Thank you, it was nice to see you laughing and undeserved for once. First time I met you, I said because of bed hair, I couldn't believe my eyes. I always thought I didn't have time to fix it, yeah. You used to bed hair on the internet. Well, I guess you wouldn't from girls. At the time, I was so shocked to have a boy entering our school, but... I felt the same way. Well, we'll see what happens next year, I guess. Well, that's no big deal. Let's walk around. Ah, uh, yes. You don't go to festival very often either, right, Ms. Kuchan? I heard the Shiny Mount and Muru's whole festivals, but oh, I heard about that. This is supposed to be the Sioux Church has a festival, but I'm included. I see. The first time I come here, Surrey is a large event. The Shrine Gods weren't even that big, but they are packed with people. Uh, excuse me. So I bumped into her, but kept walking, nothing happened. You okay? Pulled her arm lightly and brought her towards me. I'm sorry, I'm just so clumsy. Not at all. You're not clumsy, are we, Scootan? But earlier, too. Earlier? I remember the camp, I still don't remember. Ah. Uh, that's who saved me. Maybe too much of it. Actually, I remember Chloe Town got mad at me for that. If I was still scanning the grounds as I did, I thought I saw some, some dirt for cover, but it was probably just my imagination. We want to spend the evening with the guy with you guys at Rizuko Town. I'm sorry about that. I don't know, I figured that I could make up for yesterday. Of course. For what you stand with some festival activities, we have to try out the golf is scooping. What is the golf that we cast them? This doesn't have a pass. Well, well, Pontrebell. We the Pompku as an exception. I see. Well, if we can't hear a pet, we'll just do it back. How's that sound? 
That's right, Kazu should be a great help to me. Well, then let's try it. Be the time that I don't expect to turn serious. The first time you go for scooping. Shoot down at the goldfish catching tool, which is a salvage or food as a poi. I will commence. The dash expressly serious decoration plunges the poi into the water. Ah. Here we troll almost instantly. Here. Here you are, so you seem to get your goldfish. I'll give you one more try for free. Thank you. Let's see what's here to it? Hmm, I don't really know much about it. Yes, there's a trick to it. I still didn't give it a try. I learned from watching Risky Town that you can't just punch the point carelessly. This is the the water service aim for a small goldfish. Ah, oh, perfect. I already went for bigger, bigger fish. It was easier than I thought it would be. Hmm, really something, kid. Huh? I'm sure glad you were you were catching the release. In the end, I caught out ten goldfish before it was over. Mizu Sasa, you are quite skilled. I don't know. I think this poise is sturdier than the last one. May you give another try? Hi. Yes. Go on ahead. I do terror reflexes. It was a lot of fun. This one that I accepted. Well, should we try the next one? That one next? Point it to the back to the whack a mole. Yes. I'm big in so well, decided to try out some festival food. She's just a, she's just so cute. You ain't found candy before. No sweet and delicious. Yeah, it's never as I had cotton candy, but it is del it is delicious. That is she's here doing something wrong. Huh? Something wrong? I don't know what I stand that is. It's true that I already see people going to check anything outside of lunch and tea. Instead of merchant happy on the cat and candy too made me smile. Are you so much? No, it's still can't get enjoy it too so much. Maybe it's not the best school store. Maybe it's not the eyes story jarred elsewhere. That was nice. Huh? That's nice. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing at all. You don't have to get so flustered. Here our eyes smile. Is there something you liked? Who is she looking at? Mass? Stuff animals? There was all selling character mass and one selling stuff out of it next to it. Oh. Ah, the latter. I couldn't help but smile at her overly formal phrasing. Never knew you stuff animals, Yusuke-san. Say now you're watching. Still in front of the stuff animals still. We were trying to narrow eyes and evaluate each one to get. I was looking over the target range. I missed the very due crowd around them, but now they were open. The sounds on the target range, too. What target range? He's going to shine. You like bunnies, right? Bunnies? Yeah. I was a little shocked at this by a sudden shout. Ryu Sound's eyes were sparkling. You can adopt a bunny? Ryu Sound's used to for a dog instead of wind instead of lie about how she really felt. Yeah, you can. You can't see him? So that's all, you must have very good eyesight. Let's try the target range. Ah, of course. Oh, I see her now. She definitely thought of those people. I couldn't help but laugh. So the animals are pretty big and looks like easy targets. But there were small prizes right in front of them. Set up like shields. Let me go for a gun, so that's not if you would. Got it. Naturally, I would have to the bunny. Pay the feeling for the gun. Pop. Croak would fly with a soft sound. Ah. Then pay the deck of cards in front of it. What better have me the cards? Instead of the pack up in its place. Maybe I should use the open, would you? Oh no. Apparently not. 
I had three shots in total. Set a shot went over the bunny's head. Once I left, didn't have to be our last, but I took careful aim and pulled the trigger. Pop. <laughs> Whoa! I was impressed with myself, I totally hit the target. Nice one, kid. The old man handed me the stuffed animal, looking curiously pained about it. The other stall, I handed over the stuffed animal. Here you go. Are you sure? Yeah, that's what I got after all. Uh, you name her. Huh? Name her? This is probably just be your godfather. But you sound was flying brightly. Hmm, then, oh! Name came to me suddenly. Lada Bun. Uh, that's. What about Lada Bun Jr.? No. No. In that case, start thinking again. This isn't someone somebody charging me. So sorry, I couldn't move at first. So what's going to be done? Didn't recognize that first because of the hat. Right, because it was totally the hat that made her look different. <laughs> Please stop it! Huh? That owl just disappeared from my crib. Just as I was wondering where it went, I saw it in Kuno-chan's hands. Uh, what is that? You can't accept this. Have you ever heard of buying affection? Buying pre up things is awful things. No! You can only shot your head vehemently. Vehemently? English word. Don't know it. No, really? His eyes down, Sasa likes you. You like it too? Yes. So please stay out of it. I can't be any nicer about that. Just like each other. Please stay out of it. Third wheel establishes balance, but it's usually forgotten. That's why I have bicycles that fall over. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm only, it's so hard. <laughs> you lied, didn't you? But your pen pal? That is, I'm sorry. Pen pal? I can believe it. Didn't want to believe. Can I try and hug the bunny? Push tightly. You mean a normal thing that happens every day is. Never mind. That only sama. Has fallen for a boy. <laughs> just, it's just not like you, Isama. <laughs> not like me? You sound special when blank. There's something to scary about how she was act acting, but only time was so hysterical she didn't even notice. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't think you were the kind of person, only Isama. He does open your eyes. Who is that you close to Ritsuko san? Eyes have been open from the beginning. I thought I was lying to you, but. Enough! Russell. I'm gonna toss the fan away, then dash off at great speed. Next thing we knew, we got people were forming around us. I could hear them whispering to each other. What was it, love troubles? Guru ran off was cute. So was she. What an awful man. Um, she was home at scenes about that time. I. 
Oh yes, I believe you're right. Because the stuff out to be on dusted it off. Here. Do you say my name? How about Tunnelor? Pretty clever nose. Sorry, I'll fix it. Bun bun? <laughs> yes, that's fine. I thought we'd end up on the same train back to Suzuka, but I didn't see Kurocha anywhere. Maybe she walked back? Check the timetable and see that there was still a time for the last bus, so I might use a little time to tea. I want to have a talk. I probably just happened at the shrine. We really took her orders and left. Once she was gone, she bowed her head to me. You've got nothing to apologize for, Yusuko chan. But we're supposed to be because of me. Pair of shops seemed to have special feelings for her that Yusuko chan didn't share. Guess it made sense given how much she called her only Sama. I'm sure that things seem to happen a lot. Like her other schools. I thought it back to all the queen and the carillon. We guys could know each other soon, won't we? There's no harm in defending her. I didn't think Kanawi Chan was seriously seeking out a lesbian relationship. The stage would probably just last for as long as she was at business. Rita San had said something like that before, too. Still, when I was just at business, there was no escaping that fact. That confusion that Kanawi Chan was feeling was surely real. I thought you were going out with me from her? You see what I nodded. Could have lied to me too, but Roger said it was me and Pen Pal. We didn't see I'd hit that fact for sorry to help spare Kanoi Chan's feelings. After all, given how she had acted last night, there was no real way for the three of us to go, to go together. Plus, I really wanted to be alone with you two times tonight too. We had price to wine to her. They brought in the drinks we ordered and we drank them quietly. I jammed a little on tea pretty quickly. The exam must have made me thirsty. I had tea to tell us something now that we were here and you just had to say it properly. So the town, Kenori Chan beat me to the punch over here, so I didn't get to say it, but I really like you. Um, well, I don't need to hear an answer right away, of course, but I felt so shy that I started to babble. It's just, um, I wanted us to know that that's where I'm at right now. Ah, oh, right. Having said that, I wanted to say I was able to relax. Which is the bunny she had placed on the edge of the table. Is that bunny mentioned at the training camp with stuffed animal? Ah, uh, oh yes. I knew it! I'm sorry. I just knew it. I knew it. But isn't he have such a big suitcase because the rival was sleeping inside it? Because I decided to start treating them like people. I didn't have a choice. So it sounds up, face crimson. It was a strange situation, you'd be definitely a happy one. Okay, you sound for that one. You're at home, and we were swimming, so I knew you needed a full night's rest. Yeah, we we'll want you to drown. <laughs> yeah, so are you mocking me? No, of course not. There was a part of his pleasure in Mr. Kuchan's eyes, but she was smiling at the less. I thought the day would come when I could joke around with Mr. Kuchan like this. It's almost like a dream. Eighteen. Do you ever say you get serious? I'll say first. Then we get thrown back two weeks. Well, I know it's long, but it was. Well, it was a date. You can't cut a date short. I just can't do it. In conscience, anyway. Next time, let's play Princess Evangel. We'll start chapter we'll eighteen. See you then.